When the pandemic hit in the spring, law students were finishing up their studies and our students who were about to begin their bar prep courses were finishing up their third year of law school. It's a very momentous occasion. And this was something that really rattled them. We had a clinical skills practice exam scheduled for March 21st. At Clemson, we actually left on spring break and while we were on spring break was when the university made the announcement that we would not be coming back um, to in-person classes. Suddenly we had a bunch of students coming in who just weren't prepared to be using or expecting to be using the digital platform. So we had to really jump in and make sure that the transition from an in-class, in-person setting to a completely virtual environment um, didn't cause even more um, disruption to their everyday life and to their learning experience. We had nine days to work out how to make this work remotely so that all the logistics were as close to the real exam as possible. We're working really hard to figure out new ways to support them and to help them in the classroom. My teaching partner and I just hit the ground running. Um, my first priority was to make sure my students were okay. Really what's most important to me is just that my students have a place that they can be heard. Uh, and in fact, that they can have a space where they can hear from other students. Our goals for them as teachers have not changed and they are not alone through this. You don't need to put your education on pause. There's so many different ways to get the information that you want. My advice for teachers at this time is we got this. We can not only survive during this time, but we can thrive. Um, we're all dealing with lots of new things. And one of those for a lot of you is uh, learning how to teach in a really different way. And so reaching out when you need help, um, call on your colleagues, call on um, other resources. And then finally, teachers have to take care of their themselves also. Um, this is all stressful and you need to be in your best state of mind to handle the unexpected. We have all overcome obstacles in our professional careers that we never saw coming and have succeeded at it. These last semesters have been a challenge, but I know we've all grown so much from it. This World Teachers Day, we're celebrating the fearless, tireless leaders who've liked the way in a crisis and are reimagining the future for all students. You are resilient, creative, and passionate. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, teachers. For all that you do. Thank you, teachers, for everything you do.